video we'll be introducing the concepts of pH and pOH. Here are our syllabus start points. So let's talk about acidity. The acidity of a particular substance is measured by the concentration of hydrogen ions or hydronium ions in that solution and that's given to us as pH. That stands for the potential of hydrogen. Now the way that we calculate this potential of hydrogen is we use the formula pH equals to the negative log base 10 of H plus concentration. And we calculate the hydrogen ion concentration by doing the reverse of the log base 10, which is we do 10 to the power of the negative pH to get our H plus concentration. Noticing that this pH scale is the negative log base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration, what that means is that we have, we have more acidic solution, meaning that we have a high H plus concentration, we're actually going to get a lower pH. And in the other scenario, if we have a lower H plus concentration, we are going to get a higher pH. So a pH of 1 is more acidic than a pH of 3, for example. Now basicity, that's the opposite of acidity. And we measure it as the concentration of hydroxide ions, OH minus, in solution, and we give that as POH, again, that is the potential of hydroxide. So higher OH concentration means a lower POH, and a lower H plus concentration means a higher POH. So a POH of 2 is more basic than a POH of 4. Something that's very important for us to consider when we're doing these POH and pH calculations is that what's different is that the number of significant figures is actually given instead as decimal points. So if I have two significant figures for my pH, it's 2.23, or it's two decimal places. And the same as if there's one significant figure, that's one decimal place. So decimal places and significant figures change for pH and pOH. So in this first example, we asked to calculate the pH for a solution with a concentration of hydrogen ions of 0 0.0010 moles per liter. We know that the formula to calculate pH is given by the negative log of the H plus concentration. In this question, the hydrogen concentration or the hydrogen ion concentration is 0 0.0010. This means that the pH is going to be equal to the negative log of 0 0.0010 and we get a value of 3.00. And we give this as two decimal places because if you remember, the significant figures will turn into decimal places when we are calculating for pH. Now this next question asks us, what is the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution with a pH of 4.35? What we should first notice is that there are two decimal places given for the pH and in reverse, decimal places will turn into significant figures. So we're going to give our answer in two significant figures. We know that pH equals to the negative log of the hydrogen concentration, hydrogen ion concentration. This means that the hydrogen ion concentration is going to be calculated as 10 to the negative pH, which means in this case, it's going to be 10 to the negative 4.35. And that gives us a value of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5. This is a multi-part example. The first part asks us to calculate the pH for a 1 mole per liter solution of HCl. So again, pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. Since HCl is a strong acid, it will fully dissociate, meaning that the concentration of hydrogen ions is going to be 1.0. So this is equal to the negative log of 1.00, and that means there will be a pH of 0. In part B, 10 milliliters of the solution in part A is added to 90 milliliters of water. What is the pH of the new solution? So the way that we can do this is initially we can work out that the volume, we'll call I initial, 
is equal to 10 milliliters. So we do that in liters, it's 0 0.10 liters. The V of the final, the final volume is 0 0.010 plus this value, 0 0.090, which equals to 0 0.100. Initially, we have a concentration, which equals to one mole per liter. And this is given as N over V. Since VI is 0 0.010, this means that NI, we'll bring this up here, NI, the initial number of moles, is going to be 0 0.010. And really, we are only adding water into this solution, which means that the number of moles does not change, which also means that our N final, so the final number of moles, is also going to be 0 0.010. CF... So our final concentration is going to be equal to NF over VF, which is going to be 0 0.010 over 0 0.1, which equals to 0 0.1. So moving back over to this side now, we know that the concentration of hydrogen ions in the final solution is 0 0.1. This means that our pH is going to be the negative log of 0 0.1 and that's going to give us a value of 1. However, looking over here, we have three significant figures in both numbers, which means that we're going to give this in three decimal places. So this question asks, what volume of water must be added to 10 milliliters of a 0 0.1 mole per liter solution of HCl to produce a solution with a pH of 3.0. So let's think about what is happening in the question to try and understand this question. So you start off with a 10 milliliter solution of this concentration. We have a particular amount of moles and we are expecting that the pH is going to be less than 3.0 because we are diluting the solution to achieve a pH of 3.0. So what we're able to do is we're able to work out what the new concentration of the solution is going to be given the pH of 3 and then from there we can work out how many how much dilution occurred in order for us to achieve that concentration of ions. So to start we should remember the formula C equals to N over V. We are given a value for V and a value for C. This means that we are able to work out what N is and that's equal to C times V which is going to be equal to 0 0.010, this is the 10 milliliters, multiplied by 0 0.1. And we're going to get a value of 0 0.001. Now we're producing a solution with a pH of 3.0. If we're adding water, we need to remember just like in the previous example, we are not changing the number of moles, which means the initial number of moles is going to be equal to the final number of moles. So pH equals to 3, which means that the H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 3. That equals to 0 0.001. So using the same formula that we did earlier, C equals to N over V, we can manipulate it so that V is going to be equal to N over C. This means that V is going to be equal to 0 0.001 over 0 0.001, which gives us a volume of 1 litre. So continuing above, we started off with 10 milliliters, and we've gone up to 1 litre, which means that the difference in water that we've added is going to be 1 litre minus 0 0.010 litres, and that's going to give us a value of 0 0.990 litres. And again, we give this to three significant figures. You may have realized from looking at our formula, log to the base 10, that one change in the pH is actually a tenfold change in the H plus concentration. So a change in a value of pH of one is equivalent to a tenfold change in H plus. A change in a value of pH of two, that's equivalent to a hundred change in H plus. 
and a change of 3 is equivalent to a thousand change in H+. plus. So every 1 pH change is a magnitude increase or decrease by 10. So, so comparing our pHs, 4.3 goes to 3.3. What this means is that actually we've increased the H plus concentration 10 times the amount. If we're going down, we're decreasing by 10 times the amount. If we do it two times, so two changes in pH going down by two, we're increasing it by 10 two times, which means that we're increasing the H plus concentration by 100 times. And if you have 4.3 going down to 1.3, we've now increased it by 3 times 10, which is going to be 10, 10, 10, which is 1,000 times increase. We've talked about this before, the self-ionization of water. Water is an amphiprotic substance, and it self-ionizes in water. And so the self-ionization is given by this reaction 2H2O, which forms H3O plus and OH minus, where one of the waters is acting as an acid, and one of them is acting as a base. So the equilibrium constant, Kw, of water is going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 14 at 25 degrees. And this is a constant number, because it's an equilibrium constant, for 25 degrees. And this is actually going to be quite important for us to remember. This means that the concentration of the hydroxide, sorry, the hydroxide, by the hydronium concentration, is going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So let's look at this question. So the question reads, a solution of acid has a hydrogen ion concentration of 0.028 moles per liter at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the concentration of hydroxide ions in this solution? So we know it's 25 degrees Celsius and we're given the hydrogen ion concentration, which is 0.028. We know that Kw, this is where we're going to use it, equals to the H plus concentration times the OH minus concentration. And this is actually equal to always 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Well, we're given the H plus concentration. We know that H plus is 0 0.028. So this times the OH minus concentration is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. And to calculate our OH minus, we're just going to simply take 1 times 10 to the 14 minus 14 divided by 0 0.028 and we're going to get a value of 3.6 times 10 to the minus 13 making sure that we give our answer to two significant figures we have two significant figures here and two here so looking at the relationship between pH and pOH we should already have noticed that they're inversions of each other. We talk about this quite a lot, or we have talked about this quite a lot, with pH being kind of the opposite of pOH. So as pH increase, the acidity is going to decrease. That's equivalent to the basicity increasing. And as pOH increases, the basicity decreases, which is equivalent to the acidity increasing. So HW really helps us to quantify what the relationship between H plus and OH minus are. Kw we know is going to be 10 to the minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. And so if we take the log of the concentrations, we're going to be log of 10 to the minus 14, which is equal to minus 14. Now knowing log laws, this will be a little bit of maths that we have to put in here. We know that when we multiply two things together within a log, it's going to be the same as if we add the logs together. So this is log of H3O plus plus log of OH minus. Now we take the negative of everything, negative log H3O plus minus log of OH minus is going to be 14. And now we know that this is the formula to calculate pH, and this is the formula to calculate pOH. So pH plus pOH equals to 14 at 25 degrees Celsius, which means that they are complete inversions of one another. If I have a pH of 2, that's equivalent to a pOH of 12. If I have a pH of 1, that's equivalent to a pOH of 13, etc, etc. This question asks us to calculate the pH for a solution of a 0.05 mole per liter sodium hydroxide solution at 25 degrees. So again, this is similar to the last question. We have to use the relationship between pH and pOH 
equaling 14 at 25 degrees. So to start off, we know that the pH is going to be equal to 14 minus the pOH, which we are able to calculate. P of OH is going to be equal to the negative log of this concentration because sodium hydroxide is a strong base which fully dissociates, meaning that we are going to get the exact same amount of hydroxide, and that's going to give us a value of 1.301. This means that the pH is going to be equal to 14 minus 1.301, and that will give us a value of 12.6. 699. And we're giving our answer to three decimal places because we are changing significant figures into decimal places when we calculate for pH or pOH.